All right. Welcome again guys. Martin Unix here. And uh, guys, today we are going to do an hap do. And uh, our hap do guys will consist of a 2 by 2 basket with braid. It's the most requested style guys. I hope you stick around with me as I show you on how to come up with such hap do. So welcome guys. All right. Welcome guys. And uh, to begin with guys, you just secure your lock stones at the, at the, at the center. So that's, that way guys will be securing your locks to a mint of pony. And uh, I'm going to do a burn. We'll begin by doing a burn, a usual burn guys. I understand that uh, we have done so many burns on the channel guys. If you are a beginner, kindly revisit my channel for such. Uh, on, on this guys, I'm going to be uh, a little bit quick. So I want to advise you guys to go back on the channel and look for such. So I'm going to begin by doing the burn and then the basket will come later but you'll have to excuse me because the burn, I'm going to do the burn quickly for beginners kindly revisit the channel for more tutorials on how to come up with the burn. So my burn will not be so much tight. That's how you do the burn. All right, uh, guys, I understand that uh, you, you know how to come up with a burn like this one. If you are a beginner here, guys, just revisit the channel. We have so many tutorials on how to come with, to come up with such. So I've just been wrapping around like this, my log stones, all the way to the base. We are now usually just tucking, guys. You understand? So now, guys, we are going to do the basket burn. And uh, we will be doing a 2x2 two two basket burn. By doing so, guys, you, you need to uh, leave out some strands at the center, like on my case. Now, guys, guys, I'll I'll count my strands because I want to separate them. And uh, let me lay my strands down like this so that I can count them proper. We're going to count them. Remember that. Uh, the volume of the, the locks will dictate the number of strands that you are going to leave behind. And uh, on my case, guys, I'm going to separate the middle strands. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, twenty. So, guys, at the center, I've separated 40 strands, which I'm going to leave behind. We have some other remaining strands here, guys. Let's count them. One, two, nine, ten. So we have 20. So the 20 strands, guys, I'm going to align them at the bins that way. Just lay the remaining strands loose at the bottom that way. Remember, these are the strands that we are going to use to draw through our basket formation. So, use your rubber band to hold your strands in position. That way. So, you can have a look, guys, how the strands are aligned, are aligned all the way to the bottom. Then, we have used a rubber band to secure the strands in place. So now we are going to do the basket now. Just undo this section, the center section, that way. This is our center section. Now we are going to lay it loose, that way. Just lay your center section loose. We have laid our lock strands loose on our half do. That way. Now we are going to, to weave. 
you are going to weave our basket the most difficult part and uh, I want to advise you guys if you are when you are beginning this section to be as much sober as possible because this is the most difficult part counting the swans remember it's a repetition all the way through so uh, I will be beginning at this part guys I'm going to put a mark by picking some sections just to separate and create a mark as to where I've just begun. So let's begin under two. It's kind of repetition all the way through over two. Under two. Under two, guys. Then I'm gonna go over two. That way. Then under two. Be keen, guys not to miss out some strands over two. Make sure your sequence is kind of recurring pattern. Our pattern is going to be recurred. So by doing so guys, you'll be going over two, under two, all the way through. So here I went hunter, so here I'm going to go over two then under two then over two be mindful of the lock strands which we have secured with the rubber band at the bins don't pick them just let let them stay loose on the band under the final two that way guys So the challenge here guys is usually reaching where you had started without making errors. So we started here guys, we started at this level and we began by going hunter. Our final section went hunter, our final section went hunter, our first section here went hunter. So we are going to begin by going over that way, over two, under two, over two, under two, that way. This is kind of repetition guys, but be mindful of the alignment of the log swans, not to miss out. any section that way so my lock strands are ending at this point let's try and and just a little bit our sections which are which has just been done and just a little bit just to affirm your basket formation so this time around guys our strands hands at this area so we are going to pick two strands from the bottom remember we had left some strands at the bends so that way guys now I'm going to reinforce after going over reinforce such strands and go under start by going under that way under under two over two it's a repetition guys this is a recurrent pattern. It's a two by two basket we've created, but you need to, 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 to know how you can come up with this style, with business. But this, I'm doing this for our beginners. There are other ways on how to come up with such. But for now guys, let's do this for the sake of our beginners. So whenever you are working through your basket that is whenever you are doing the weaving remember to tighten the warp stones remember on this case our warp stones are the ones which are hanging our web stones are the ones which we are, we are drawing through 
for us guys we are interlacing through our basket that is using the basket formation that is all right guys don't get tired remember this is a recurrent pattern and as i told you as we began guys you need to somber up so that you can overcome this kind of tedious work all right now our section ends at this area so we are going to look for strands from the veins so that we can secure the ending tips and continue with our journey so let's pick some sections from this part two of them you see i'll just pick them so i will secure the ending tips here some are my ending tips just uh, pull them a little bit to affirm them then let them stay loose on the scalp uh, not the scalp guys but the updo now we are going to work together on this section so i'm gonna go start by going over remember here we had gone hunter so over two over two guys then under two you see that way over two under two then over two then under two see let's take out our upper band Now you realize that uh, at the at the back our basket is kinda done, but at the front area, guys, we have a long way to go. Pick stones from this area, then begin by going hunter, under two, over two, under two, then over two, then under two. But so after reaching this part guys I will just tuck in the, remain, the remaining tips since we are towards our finishing area we just need to start by tucking in the tips that way then you can adjust your sections just adjust them a little bit just to create room for more strands to pass through. That way, let's do another section at the front area just to catch up with the, the back part. So, over two, under two, over, under. Over then under just tuck in the remaining tips. But this this is just our finishing area. So let's pick this section here. Over. Then by going hunter, it means we'll be going against the rules of the pattern. So if we go hunter here, since we don't have other strands which are coming from this part, from hunter. So what we are going to do guys, we're just going to pick these strands and attach them at the base and tuck in the tips. That way, since the strands consist of an incomplete pattern, that way, just taking such strands at the base. So I'm gonna pick other strands from this area. I'm gonna pick these two strands here, then go over, then under. You see, 
Now, this, these particular strands are following our rules of weaving a two by two basket. So we are going to weave through until the strands are done. So if we lose grip of the recurrent pattern, guys, we just tuck in the strands inside the band that way. All the way to this area then I'm gonna I'm gonna tuck in our strands at this level just pull them around the bins and tuck in the tips where you feel like the basket is not in it's incomplete pick some strands and try to weave through like this area guys I'm gonna go hunter two over two. two then over two then wrap the remaining stones around the bins and tuck them inside the basket formation this time around I'm gonna pick this and wrap it around on different side So after weaving your basket, guys, the remaining strands, you just tuck them inside the burn formation. And be careful, guys, not to leave behind so many strands, because uh, if so many strands are left out, you will come out with a hanging look at the base. So you can try as much as possible to get your way through as you come up with this kind of burn. And it's wow guys it's amazing this is truly amazing guys this is artistic work it's a nice look it's a charming look guys it's a basket with bread which is made up of two by two basket with so lovely it's wow you can try out this one guys remember to like my work share comment guys and keep on subscribing you can as well guys join membership as a way of supporting the channel this is amazing thank you guys for working with me throughout the styling journey i hope my styling guys was much instructive as well as being informative and i understand that guys now you can come up with this artistic work very well without lots of challenges so i want to urge you guys to share my work like comment and keep on subscribing stay locked for more tutorials to come Thank you.